Okay guys, hi, welcome to a YouTube board by Poison TV. I am Dom and I am joined by Gentle Giant. Hey Dom, we have a great game here coming up for you guys and it's going to be a ZVP. And spawning here in the top right side we have our blue Protoss player who goes by the name of Fnatic Nighthand. And down here in the bottom left hand corner playing for Samsung Khan it is Solar. Ooh, alright Solar um, from Korea and this is um, the go for SC2 Cup um, just a couple of days ago and uh, yeah um, very very cool games you should definitely check them out um, uh, of course we're casting uh, go for SC2 Cups uh, uh, every week so yeah definitely worth checking out yeah indeed and uh, I say it was, it was a really interesting build uh, that was used here so we thought we'd kind of uh, showcase it to you guys and of course if you do enjoy these uh, uh, showcasts should we call them um, please of course uh, do subscribe to our YouTube page anyhow we see uh, Night End coming down with the gateway expand and at the moment we just have Solar um, he's just uh, playing very standard just a uh, Droning away and dropping the pool on scouting this probe. Yeah, so um, probe is just um, seeing the um, pool timing and not seeing okay any very greedy play here by Solar, which we do see uh, from time to time going for the free hatchery very very early on, and uh, yeah, so a knight and uh, going for that uh, potential of. Uh, follow up with Starport having two gases now on the way. Yeah, absolutely. He's going for that double 15 gas, four on each. Uh, occasionally we see five on. Apparently, five on gas means that the, the obviously that the uh, uh, Protoss is gearing up towards a more aggressive opening, like if you scouted six, but of course, it's a little bit more economic with one probe left. We do see this wall here from Night End, I like this pylon gate cyber core. You only need to put in one more probe if you wish, uh, one more pylon, should I say, if you wish to kind of uh, deny it. And we now see Solar just pushing in and confirms that this is a gateway expand. Yeah, so um, there is no third base of being thrown down. The probe will be trying to prevent this from happening. The Zerg is now on the way, trying to get a good scout here at the, in the main base, and uh, maybe tr preventing that probe here actually from building that nexus. We will see as the minerals are stocking up, and he will be able to plant it down just before the Zerg is arrived. Yeah, Nexus goes down, he will actually get into the base, and this is slightly annoying, but of course the Mothership Core is on the way. We'll be able to shoot this um, ever since the Mothership Core has come into the scene. These kind of annoying endless Ling harasses, um, they're just not as effective as they used to be. Yeah, absolutely. So the so they um, better go invest into the drone account, and uh, someone actually just going for its beating upgrade, feel comfortable with that and uh, delaying that third hatchery just by quite a bit as he is of course uh, needs to be careful of any warp gate aggression here coming up from night end. Yeah absolutely, we see the rowboat coming down in good time here, mothership for just doing its thing. At the moment we see Solar just going for a very standard kind of speedling opening. Um, just droning up at the moment, not being too greedy by taking that super super fast third and again poking on up, just wants to see what's coming out of uh, Night End. I do like the play from Night End, he's not investing in his warp gates too too early and uh, wants to uh, get um, just maybe the map vision here with servers and also giving the potential of going for warp prism and uh, doing some little harass here. But now he's even decided to go for a very early mortal. I wonder if it's just more like a defensive one, or he's really wanting to uh, get more and more um, mortals for a later push. But this is the cool thing about the build from Night End. We now see the fact that he's pulled all probes off gas, and now he's just purely mining on minerals right now. We have a look at the robotics bay. He's got two mortals queued up. Now all he has to do is produce 
mineral units which of course is warp prism gateways and pylons so we're going to see a gateway expand version of the two immortal warp prism zealot push oh wow this is very very cool indeed uh, i haven't seen this uh, a lot here and look at that solar is actually scouting this in the main base he's seeing okay there's no i guess mine there are three warp gates on the way i need a roach warren where is uh, he already built it uh, there so therefore it should be prepared against this but it really depends on the on the immortal cat and the control of night end yeah it really will come down control and with such a short map night end can just walk across and he'll be at the opponent's base in a very short period of time we have overlords at the front which could possibly be in a little bit of danger and we also see solar morphing in a spine crawler to try and defend the first initial push of um, this attack from night end Wow, this is a really, really good timing attack here from Night End, I have to say. And uh, Solo is n not really prepared against this. He is getting some more uh, spine crawlers, so this is helping out uh, just a little bit more here to defend the third base. He, of course, doesn't want to lose it by any means, but here we go. So, Zealot and Immortals on the way, and Immortals might be slapping down the spine crawler here, but no, they will be attacking the Zerglings. Need to be careful there. Yeah. yeah, big warp in from Night End at the moment. A lot of Zealots here, a lot of punching power. We look at the economy, we've got so many minerals right now. There's Immortals doing a fantastic job, and now we see the Warp Prism uncoupling. It's going to move on forward, and I say, these roaches at the moment, they're looking unstoppable. Wow, so they are very, very cost-effective here so far for Night End, and uh, let's see if Solar can actually do it. do it. Here are the drones, they are going to attack the Zealot. This is not a good sign here for Solar, and look at that Warp Prism Arrasio from Night End, dropping them in and out. Very nicely done here by Night End. Yeah, we have uh, Solar almost killing off that first wave but the second wave now comes in immortals on such low hp their shields are now gone but of course this is only two roaches zealots just engaging in a choke here i do like the fact that he mineral walls the probes back through the roaches the zealots punching on through the archons doing uh, archons immortals doing tons of damage behind this another bout of zealots coming through and the economy of solar is in tatters right now Absolutely, the roaches need to be microed here, left and right, and the reinforcements trying to go come from the third base, taking a very, very long path, and the four person being so key to this composition. Oh, and look at that, the immortals being controlled, yet again being dropped in, into war prison. Oh, what nice micro here by night, and, and killing off so, so much. Yeah, really nice build here from night end, really good control, even though a valiant effort by Solar, and there we go, we see the GG, and Night End takes this game. So guys, if you did enjoy it, please do click our subscribe button. I have been Dom, I have been joined by Gentle Giant, more YouTube videos coming soon, so as I say, please do click that subscribe button.